Hello everyone, I'm Molly Wood. Welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show where we read your feedback, answer your questions, and open all your sketchy snail mail. Actually, I got a lot of good snail mail this week and none of it was sketchy. Like this wonderful card from Meggie, who just wrote to say thank you to me for being an incredible role model. Meggie, this was the nicest letter and thank you very much for sending it. Also thanks to Dave, who sent a self-addressed stamped envelope so that he could get a sticker, but also included two stamps in case someone else forgot their postage. Dave, you get an extra sticker. And FYI, everyone, we are now out of stickers, so don't send me your emails or stamps. I'll let you know when I get more or when you can buy them. In the meantime, they have trickled out into the world. Here's an example of one in the wild. All right, now for some kudos for Jason Howell, our podcast producer here at CNET. Jim writes, hey, Jason, just got a look at the new Podcast Central page, and it looks much better than before, not as cluttered. Download speeds have improved, which I got to say was far more important. Thanks. Know you've been taking a lot of crap because of slow downloads and other technical issues that you've had no control over, so you should also get the much-deserved compliments when you fix the problems. Jim, you are so right about that. And yes, Sean echoes all our feelings when he says, I just want to say, I love the new Podcast Central. Thank you, smiley face. The redesign is finally live and you can actually find things and see things on the page and it looks so beautiful. Jason deserves a major fruit basket for pushing that sucker through. Okay, and now for a little geek mail. Ankh in Ireland had a little note on our quick tip about killing stubborn processes on the Mac. He says, you're teaching people how to use Linux through under the guise of Macintosh. Hilarious. I remember being taught the same thing when I ran into problems on my first Ubuntu box. Next, teach them how to add a UUID to F-STAP so the drive will remount after a crash. LOL. <laughs> and Fred Hag writes about the same tip. Tech pronunciation is usually pretty good on CNET TV, i.e. I rarely notice mistakes. However, there have been three to five problems in the last couple weeks. What finally took me to the point of providing feedback was Wilson Tang's Stop Stubborn Programs on a Mac quick tip. He pronounced sudo as sudo, similar to the martial art of judo rather than sudo. Pronunciation mistakes like this focus the audience attention on the fact that the personalities are not knowledgeable and simply reading copy. I am sure there is not much time to check such things, but there should be some mechanism for this. Um, actually, Fred Hag, as we all know, sudo stands for super user do, and so I can totally understand why you would have to pronounce it sudo, and in fact, it is officially pronounced sudo, but Wikipedia notes that it is commonly also pronounced sudo. And in fact, there is a raging debate in the open source community about the proper pronunciation, as evidenced by multiple heated forum threads. But thank you for noticing. And before we go, one final bit of crazy mail for Wilson. Dear Wilson Tang, I think your name rhymes with Vera Wang, Scarlett O'Hara. I mean, that's true. It does rhyme with that. So, okay. That's it for this week. Send me your questions and comments. Email me at mailbag at cnet.com or send your snail mail to 235 Second Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. Thank you for watching, everyone.